How to make realistic fur text effect in Photoshop. Hello everyone, we're back with another video tutorial of Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you some simple steps to create an amazing text effect with realistic animal fur using Photoshop. All you need is an animal texture. You can even take a picture of your pet when they're sleeping, but make sure not to wake them up. We'll use a tiger's texture. You can find it in unsplash.com. It's an amazing website with millions of copyright free photos taken by professionals. You can find the link for this photo down in the description below. And yeah, don't forget that we have a gift for you in the end of this video. It's a surprise, so don't miss any part and watch till the end. Let's get started. Start by creating a new document. I'll use a canvas of 2000 by 1500 pixels with a resolution of 300 pixels. Now add your desired text. I'll write tiger since I'm using a tiger's texture. Convert your image to a smart object by clicking on your text layer and then convert to smart object. Also we have to get rid of those sharp edges. Go to filters, noise and click on median. Use a value of 20 pixels. This would round off the corners of the text, which gives the text a softer appearance. Open your fur texture in Photoshop. Select all with Ctrl A and drag it to your main document. Now scale and transform the texture to fit over a portion of the letters. You can flip the texture by adding a minus before the width. I need to cover my text with three pieces. When you're done, go to the Layers panel and merge the layers in one layer by hitting Ctrl E. Hold the Ctrl key and click the text layer thumbnail to make a selection. Add a layer mask to clip the texture to the outline of the wording. This effect doesn't look very realistic with those hard edges, so let's create a custom brush to blend them in. Create a new document at 200 by 200 pixels. Select the brush tool and set up the tip at a 5 pixel and maximum hardness. Reduce the spacing to 1%, turn on the shape dynamics option and set the gear to control to pin pressure. Switch over to the pin tool and place a point in the top left corner. Add another point in the bottom right by click and dragging the Bezier curve using Ctrl. Right click and choose stroke path. Select brush as the tool setting and select simulate pressure. Repeat the process and add 3 or 4 more tapered lines in different directions. Then go to edit and define brush preset. Now you have created this custom brush. Close the temporary document and switch back to the main one. With the marquee tool selected, right click and select make work path and use one pixel as the option. Select the brush tool and reduce its size to around 60 pixels. Then brush tip shape reduce the spacing to 1%. Turn on shape dynamics and max out the size jitter, angle jitter and roundness jitter to completely randomize the brush tip. Select the pen tool, right click and select stroke path. Make sure you've selected white as your foreground and black as the background to ensure the mask will be painted with white color. You can hit ok to apply the outline. Now you can get rid of the path. The effect is looking much better now. Double click the texture layer and add a beveling emboss layer style. Set the depth to 500, size to 50% and max out the soft end slider. Alter both the highlights and shadow modes to soft light and play with the opacities if necessary depending on the size and font of your text. You can see it's looking much better with the bevel style turned on. Additionally, turn on drop shadow and set the opacity, distance and size to 20 pixels. Use the gradient tool to add a nice background. Colorize the first slider to white and the second one to bright orange. Set the style to radial. Click and drag from the middle to the left corner to create a stunning soft orange background. 
hit Ctrl Alt Shift E to create a snapshot of the current process. Now go to filters and sharpen the image. This will sharpen the details of the fur to enhance the clarity of the texture. One last thing is left. Click on this square icon to create an empty layer. Drag the layer down on top of the background. Select the brush tool and change its perspective to a squeeze oval and increase the size to around 4000 pixels. Ok, click and add your fill shadow and reduce the opacity to around 50%. Scale down the shadow and set it somewhere which looks more realistic. Now you're done. The final result is a cute furry text effect with realistic appearance. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think I promised you guys something. Now it's time to give you your gift. Let's open it together. We're giving away the project that we made in this video. Yay! You can use it for any kind of personal or commercial purpose. Simply do whatever you want with it. You can find the link for it down in the description below. Also, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Make sure to subscribe and share the video with your friends. Till the next video, take care and goodbye.